What's up guys, I'm Sean here from SRK Cycles and Tank Straps and I'm gonna show you guys how to load up a bike by yourself and there's just a couple little key points that if you don't do it properly, you might get yourself in a kind of a goofy situation and you might be calling for help. So, the first step, and this is, you'll, you'll make this mistake once, I've already made it so I'm not gonna make it again, is you gotta make sure your, 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 uh, your ramp is securely tied down and what happens is you get the front end of the bike in, your back tire spins, kicks the ramp off, then your bike falls off. You've seen the videos about it, it definitely happens, it's a real thing. Uh, I like to use a really wide ramp, um, just so I can have, in case I need to, have both feet on the ground. And we just use one of our mini tank, tank straps to secure it. Something just beat. Next, you want to make sure you have some straps out. And when you're rolling the bike up, if this is your first time, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, get someone else to do it. You should feel pretty comfortable before doing it, but you want to be real light on the throttle. You don't want to hit the thing with too much momentum. And then depending on how many bikes you're putting on the trailer, you want to get some good placement on the trailer. I'm going to put a couple more bikes on here, so I'm going to make sure this thing is as far to the left as I can have it. Now I always leave my bikes in gear when I'm transporting them. And then I got to lean on the kickstand. If I was gonna, if you were planning on putting more bikes in the front, and you couldn't lean it on the kickstand, you really can't do it by yourself. The first strap. Now I'm gonna use these, uh, the tank straps. Uh, these are the ones we use. This, this set's probably about two years old. We've probably used it for a couple hundred thousand miles. Probably a couple hundred bikes. They're still perfect. Um, you can find these on. Uh, click on the link below. These are for sale on Amazon. I'm gonna put this. You want to come around here a little bit. So I'm going to start. Actually, I'm going to start on this side. No, I was wrong. I changed my mind. I'm going to start on the kickstand side. I'm going to loop it around the front fork, lower part of the front fork. Let that dangle there so it doesn't hit anything. And then I'm going to loop it around the bottom D ring. bring it back through the strap and this is very important I'm gonna let a little bit of slack I'm gonna let this a little bit loose there's a little bit of slack in here and the reason I'm doing that is so that when I pull it straight the other side it's got a little bit of it, it can straighten out so that's plenty I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side Loop it around. What's nice about these straps is you don't need soft ties because there's no metal hooks that you're jamming in behind anything. So you loop that around there. Let that lay nice and easy. Bring it around your strap. And now because the other side is secure, you can start ratcheting this one down and to start straightening the bike up. Once you get it to it's about straight, now you don't have, it doesn't have to be straight. A lot of times I favor it a little bit to the, the kickstand side, but I never have any actual pressure on the kickstand, but I do leave it down. So I'm gonna get up so it's actually straight. Now this one's, this, this one's getting taut. Ratchet this one down a couple times. And there you go. Now all you want to do is just get rid of the excess uh, strap. I like to just loop it around and then just do a couple light double knots. That gets it out of the way. Another way you could do it is you can fold it up like this. 
and then stick it down in the crease of the strap just wedge it down that's nice and neat it'll also stay right there so once you're at that point you're done you see there's no real pressure on the kickstand I do like to leave it down just if it makes me feel better at night and that bike is secure like I said these things are on Amazon click on the link below these are the only straps that we trust to use when we transport our bike this is a uh, it's a used bike it's 2017 Street Glide it's a, a $20,000 bike I would not trust any other straps uh, to use these. We've never broken a strap. And these are probably one of the first sets we've ever gotten. And we'll be, th these will be here for a couple, you know, for years to come. All right, guys. That's how to uh, strap down a bike yourself. And th make sure you take the ramp off. Make sure the bike's in gear. And if it is a Harley Davidson, you might want to learn how to do the, uh, the procedure to turn the alarm off. Um, but normally, if, if you're not traveling it that far, just leave it on as long as there's no audible alarm. It's not going to kill your battery. All right, guys. We'll see you later.